Honorable Commissioner for Education here represented. Other commissioners that have been here. Our guest speaker, permit me to stand on the existing protocol. My name is Fred Jacob Inamodo, a physics teacher. I come to come this in a park, in a back local government area. I come from a small, beautiful village known as Ikor Inamodo in a local government area of a quite home state. I have taught phases for the past 21 years in public secondary school across a quite state. Today I'm so honored to share a short story about myself with you. I would like to say that I was born to a lovely parent, Mr. Jacob Inamudo and Diana, Mr. Diana Jacob Inamudo. Both were very poor and they did not have the formal education. But they had the passion to send the children to school. I was a local champion. In my primary school, secondary school, and teachers have been coming to our house almost on a weekly basis to inform my father to save money for my education. Most times they get books in a bit to motivate me to study harder. My father was a good motivator. He would take me to where a few of his palm trees were and said, I will sell these palm trees and send you to school. I was so motivated by this word and I studied harder than more. Soon before I wrote my wife, my father, the only hope I had, miserably died. Someone who saw him while he was passing on said he cried and shouted, who would send Ephraim to school? So my world kept in, and my education came to an end. My sister Comfort ran to my principal, late uh, Reverend Father Pipesian, a pleasant memory, and told him my idea. And the principal offered to accept me to stay with him. So I became a houseboy for 10 good years. Tears were my food all day. And I kept asking myself this one question when will I ever go back to school? I came in contact with Reverend Sister Benedict Zay from Anambra State, because of time, who happened to know about my sad story. She vowed I must go back to school, yet she had no money. She was at Mercy Hospital at that time. As God would have it, a group of Germans sent a letter to her and said they would like to help the poor in Africa. This was how money came in. And she started training in school and I became a graduate. Today, I am not just a teacher. But an exceptional teacher with at least 12 world class awards for recognition for teaching excellence, innovation, creativity, achievement. Thank you. To another foundation, I salute you. You are the window through which I see my world and the ladder through which I get to the top. Through God, you have become a physical life and illuminate my life. I would not have been honored in the U.S. with Fulbright Global Award without you. I wouldn't have been addressed by the U.S. company as a global teacher without you. I wouldn't have been honored to teach in such a high-tech environment, such a real high school, Reno, Nevada, without you. No life be certified to be educator by Washington County School District, USA having exactly the use of technology and teaching without you. I wouldn't have had the opportunity to address teachers in Washu County School District, graduate students, teachers in the University of Nevada, State Department, Fulbright Awards worldwide without you. I count this a great honor. 
before I just step down, I want to say a big thank you to Ejinao Senudo. Ejinao Senudo. The principle he gave me of giving back to society has actually turned my life around. He taught us during the no training workshop. And that motivated me, please get this, to set up you know, skill application program for my student. Not only that, I just made my mind to feed students, the poorest students. How did it happen? I was in the office, somebody called me and said, come, 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 come. Somebody was dying and I rushed to the place, the school clinic. And I saw a school child, a small girl, almost dead. And as a pastor, I gathered her and prayed for some minute, and she just opened her eyes and sat down. And I asked her, have you eaten, or oh, did you eat in the morning? She said, no, I had to order for food. And she ate. Something was running in my spirit, that these students, some of them come to school without food. So I went to my compound master. I told him, I would like to feed the poorest student in this school. And he asked me to come to office. We went to office. He showed me one crate of mineral. He said he bought it and he kept it because he discovered too that some students come to school without food. And every time he gets to them, he bring one bottle and get to them. So I told him I will feed 20 students every day. And he heard me. He will go around junior classes, select them, and I will pay for 20 students every day. This, please, this principle of giving back to society rule my life. I have no time, I would have said so many things, but I want to congratulate our awardees. Keep going higher. And our teachers, keep doing your work. Teach. Your reward is ready on earth. Before you get to heaven, you have it here. Thank you so very much to our professor, Enyedi, and the Inoyotoro Foundation. You have really helped to groom me, and I'm so happy to know you. And to my state secondary education board, I am very grateful. Thank you so very much, and God bless everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, please celebrate Mr. Ephraim Jacob. Thank you so much, Mr. Ephraim.